Thailand can be called land of cicadas. Whether you are on the edge of a rice field, in a national park, in an urban area, in the middle of a busy city street, you are never far away from the often deafening sound of cicades. At times, we also see their brown skins hanging on the trees. It's time to know more about them, so I made this video. Cicada, family Cicadidae, is a family of more than 3,000 species of sound-producing insects. Cicadas are found in tropical and temperate areas worldwide. Cicadas are medium to large insects, ranging in size from 2 to 5 cm. They characteristically have short antennae, two pairs of transparent membranous wings, prominent compound eyes and three simple eyes, or shelly, that form a triangle between the compound eyes. The insects do not bite or sting. These noisy insects we hear in tropical and subtropical countries are the male cicades, and their songs are not rubbing the wings like crickets. Cicade males have a specialised organ on the abdomen to make vibrations. It's called timbals. Females don't have these organs. The sound is made by contracting the muscles in the abdomen. Unseen by us, cicades spend their lives underground. They feed by sucking juice from plant roots. There are two juice flows in a plant. Water and minerals are transported upwards to the leaves via vessels called xylem. After photosynthesis, the products are transported through the plant via phloem vessels. The cicadas live on the xylem juice. They drink instead of eat the fluid. Xylem sap is not very nutritious, but symbiotic bacteria in the gut of the insect make good nutrients from the sap. Underground the nymphs molt three or four times each month and every time they grow bigger. They spend one or several years in the dark subterranean world, depending on the species, and reappear above ground when it is time for their final metamorphosis. This process normally occur in the dry season in the tropics, particularly in March or April. The cicades burrow out of their underground chambers to the surface and climb onto the nearest tree trunk. There the insect slowly slips out its brown nymphal skin through a slit in the back. It takes about a half hour before the insect completely frees itself from the old skin. The newly emerged adult cicade appears pale green but after a while the colour darkens and the initial soft body hardens. Most of the common species have brownish colourations while some forest species are brightly coloured. At this stage as adults the male cicade want to do one thing, mating. That loud buzzing sound that male cicadas produce is their mating call. To the human ear the call seems all the same but each cicada species sings its own song, just as each bird species has its own song. I'll show you some examples here. Male cicadas sing together in choruses by vibrating their timbals and the song attracts both males and females that cluster together to mate. After mating, the males die and females begin to lay their eggs, approximately 20 at a time, which they insert into slits in tree branches with their ovipositors. After laying the eggs, the females also dies. Reproduction is the priority of the cicades. The eggs hatch within six to 10 weeks and the nymphs drop from the branches to the ground, burrow into the soil, and the life cycle begins again. For annual cicadas, that subterranean stage lasts two to five years, but for periodical cicadas of the Americas, it will be 13 or 17 years before the nymphs see sunlight again. Because all cicadas of a species emerge from the ground at the same time, there are suddenly a large number of insects. So for insect-eating animals and birds, 
this time is a food festival. Thai people also collect cicadas as a snack. And what good are all these insects that drink the xylem sap for the tree? After the metamorphosis, all those empty cicada skins fall to the ground and the nitrogen that is released is fertilizer for the tree. Moreover, a tree absorbs so much xylem water that the tree is not bothered by all those little drinkers. 